Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you a day trading stock indicator that really is a game changer, and it made a huge difference in my trading. So I wanna share with you what it is, and then show you how it works. And on the screen here, you can see some of my results. That way you know that there's no theory here, okay? It really does work, it really, is applied and I've been applying it in the real world of trading. And also I'm gonna show you how it all plays out with an actual live trade later on in the video, but I wanna first set up some context here. But point here right now is that this is not theory, okay? This is not me sitting here saying, well, I think it'll work this way or it should work if you do these things, none of that. This is all proven and like I said, you have the results here and then you're gonna see more live trading in a little bit. But with all that being said, my next big disclosure here is take note, this is not perfect. I'm not sitting here saying that this is going to cause you to always win and that money is gonna begin to rain from the sky. There's no such thing as a holy grail. There's no such thing as a perfect system or a perfect you know, strategy, whether you're day trading or swing trading. So I wanna make that up front. I'm not sitting here you know, predicting and saying that you'll be perfect. Losses happen, but overall, yes, this will make trading, this will be a game changer for you if you start to use the indicator here. So this is how I want you to envision the technical indicator that I'm about to talk about. Right there, all right? Just focus on that big old wind, so strong, that's, you know, it's literally influencing how each individual tree is flowing, right? So each individual tree is being affected by this overall force as wind. And as far as the stock market wind is concerned, so yes, the stock market has wind, okay? And stock market wind can move in three different directions. You can have wind that is either blowing in the upwards direction, and in trading jargon and you know trading terminology, that would be known as bullish, right? When prices are going up, when forces are going up, when the wind is blowing up, that is bullish. You could have the wind blowing downwards, that would be known again as lingo as, as bearish, and then you could have the wind where it's just simply blowing sideways. So that's just neutral, right? It's not bullish, it's not bearish, it's just middle of the road. So that's how the stock market wind moves. It's got three different movements that it can be you know, uh, flowing in, or I guess blowing in uh, as far as wind is concerned. So here's a little quiz for you. In life, you know, what is easier, going with the wind or going against the wind. So if you if you wanna pause the button and sit there and go into deep reflection, I'll allow you to do that. But hope you're just saying, and you know from life experience that, you know, trying to behave in that manner right there is not easy. Yes, it's possible. Yes, you can, you know, you can have some success with it, but it's not easier. You're not, that's just not an ideal situation. So yeah, the right answer would be, Clay, kind of a stupid question. Going with the wind is much easier than having a fight against it. So as traders, we need to leverage as many odds in our favor as possible, including those market wins. A lot of times, especially if you're new or just getting started, maybe you, you kind of show up with the impression, well, it's kind of like the markets I've heard are rigged against you and, and, and you know, it's, it's tough for the little guy to get ahead and you almost have this, you know, I'm just a little fish in a big sea. And while that's true, there are also plenty of ways where you can quote unquote manipulate the system in your favor. Now, again, I don't mean that in a guaranteed way, but that's what a true professional trader, a long lasting trader is going to do. They're looking for all those little odds, all those little things that they can pay attention to. They're gonna help leverage the odds in their favor. So that's what you need to be doing. If you wanna have success, you gotta tilt, you gotta manipulate as many odds in your favor as, par as possible, and market wins is one of those that's available to everybody, as I'm about to show you, but not that many people use it, and you really do, especially when you kinda just actually think about the general idea of things. So how do you measure market wind? I get it right now, I'm, I'm, I'm almost talking little in, in code, market wind, okay Clay, I get it. The markets have these winds, these winds serve as the force, and they, in, you know, they influence how individual trees you know, flow, but how do you measure the SPY? Now that is an ETF, and I'm not gonna go too far down the rabbit hole, but just realize that the SPY is something that's basically telling you what the market is doing. So if you were to, if someone were to ask you, well, how'd the markets do today? A quick way to, you know, analyze that, and a quick way to give that person an answer would be, well, let me pull up the SPY real quick. It's just an ETF that summarizes the S&P 500. Like I said, I don't wanna go too far down the rabbit hole. Just understand that from a day trading perspective or you know, swing trading perspective or any you know, a strategy perspective, the SPY is telling you what the overall market is doing or in our analogy, that's what the market wins are doing. 
So that is how it all works. That's how we're gonna measure the market wind and help us to use that to put even more odds in our favor. So this is how it works. Before entering a stock, you need to ask yourself two questions, okay? So these two questions need answered. And you're gonna answer these by using the five minute chart. Again, as day traders, I think the five minute chart is a great place to start. Now is this, again, written in stone? Is this like a holy grail system? It's not, however, there's a lot of people out there that use, do use the five minute chart, and when there's a lot of people that you're using the same time frames, you know, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want, it, it can provide some situations where, yeah, certain things happen just because there's so many people that expect it to happen, it therefore happens. So does the chart actually have any power? No, you could easily argue, listen, the chart didn't do anything. It literally just happened because of a self-fulfilling prophecy, and that's fine. I'm not gonna argue against that. My counterpoint would just simply be, well, if there are self-fulfilling prophecies that exist, I would like to know as a trader what those prophecies are so that I can try to, again, use them to put the odds in my favor. And is the five minute the holy grail? No, but do a whole lot of people use the five minute chart? Yes, they absolutely do. So use the five minute SPY chart, or at least use it to start there. And if you wanna change things around and do some experimenting, that's fine. I mean, it's up to you, it's your money. But I would say start with the five minute SPY chart. So using that first question, what is the current direction of market wins? Nothing fancy, nothing complicated. What are the, what at, at that moment in time, what are the market winds currently doing? What direction are they doing? And the next follow-up question would be, okay, well, what is most likely to happen next with market winds? Now, how you determine that, that is totally up to you. Me personally, I like to use technical charts, but that's personal preference. I'm a technical trader, so I'm using the charts. But that is what you would need to follow up. What are they? What are the winds currently doing? And then what do I think is gonna happen? What's most likely to happen next? And most likely, again, very, very key phrase because None of this is guaranteed. There's no such thing as a guarantee in the market, but again, it's all about the odds and probability. So yeah, what's most likely to happen next? So let's just turn this theory into reality. Sure, I know at the start I showed you some results, but let me just show you how this works out with a real life actual trade that I made with my account, which is, is not simulated trading. This does not happen in a demo account or anything like that. I literally had money on the line here. So to set things up, let me just walk you through the process. So before entering a stock, and the stock that I was looking at was Boeing. So step one, I'm looking at an individual stock, or think back to that image, an individual tree, right? Those trees are swaying with all that market wind. So my individual quote unquote tree was Boeing here. And the two questions that needed to be answered was first, and I'm answering these questions with that five minute chart, but what is the current direction of the market wind? So what we're looking at there is the chart of the SPY five minute SPY chart, and you, it'll look familiar as soon as you, you see the trade actually play out. But the current direction, right there, it's just simply going sideways. It bounced up a little bit, but then started to go sideways. Next question I need to ask myself is, okay, what did I think was most likely to happen next with market wins? And in my opinion, I thought the market wins were about to go in the downward direction, the bearish direction. So that is how my thought process worked, going in and starting to form that trade here on Boeing. So another quiz. And the assumption here is that I actually want to put the odds in my favor. So under that assumption that, yeah, I'd like to be successful, I'd like to make some money, so I wanna put the odds in my favor, what do you think I choose to do with the Boeing trade? So what do you think my choice was? Do you think I chose to go long, known as buying, depending on how new you are, or do you think I decided to go short, meaning sell? Now, if you're brand new, real quick, believe it or not, it's, it's bizarre when you hear it the first time, but yes, in the markets, you can make money when prices go down. I get it, wait, what, say that again, yes, you can make money if a stock price goes down, you can actually still make money. That's called going short, being short, shorting a stock. All those are the same exact thing, but yeah, you can make money when prices go down. Well, hopefully you're saying, well, Clay, you just literally said that you thought the market wins would begin to go down, so I'm assuming that you decided that you wanted to do this right there, and go short and sell, which just to really reiterate, yes, if you're a beginner, you can make money when prices go down. That is just known as going short, which means you have to sell first, and then in order to exit the position, you buy. So yes, sounds bizarre, but totally possible. So let's watch how it all played out live. But first, before I get to this, and I wish I could say this was some sort of highly planned out example, but it just played out the way it did. But that's also the nice thing about these live trades is because they're live, I mean, you never quite know what happens. But as far as if you're wondering, you know, where do I stand within my journey of trading and learning and understanding? You know, if you ever wanted, it'd be great if there was some sort of progress tracker out there that could tell me exactly where I stand, then we have a great little kind of built-in quiz 
in regards to trade management. So when it comes to trade management and how you behave as a trader and how you position yourself as a trader, then there's gonna be a great example of that that you know comes up within the video itself and you'll see how that goes. So it, it's kind of, I'm talking about Boeing, talking about Boeing and then I change topics. But when I change topic, like I said, at that point, use that as a little progress tracker so that you can see where exactly your understanding of trade management stands. So with all that being said, let's go and see how this Boeing trade played out live. All right, I'm gonna go here and get short at 137.50 here on Boeing, risking about $100, so I could potentially give back uh, the gains on the day, but um, I'm not really worried about that for context sake. It's a Friday, it's been a very, very nice week. It's been a green week, so even if I end up um, you know, right around basically nothing on a Friday, that's okay. Now, I'm, I'm certainly not going to risk putting myself deep into the red or something like that, so I'm not going to go that far, but you know, even if, like I said, the hundred or the, I take the, the the max loss here. So here we go. See, I'm changing this to stop. That's what I want. But my point is, even if this doesn't quite work out, and my what I'm thinking and what I'm wanting is, I think that the the spy wants to roll over. So my thinking is, if this pulls back here, then Boeing should follow. Which yeah, so far so good. So let's see this come down some more, SPY. Would love to see the markets roll over some. And if that can happen, I mean, Boeing's already moving down on its own. Right? See how these are very nice. Come on down, markets. There you go. So that's what I like to see. Let me actually get this out of the way. We'll take off. Let's see, what is that? I think it can get down below lows. Maybe I'm just being a greedy savage here, I don't know. But let's see if it can get down through 137, there we go. And then even get down through those lows. Can we get the break? Yes, we can. So 50 shares left now. So now it's just uh, a matter of how much money am I going to make? Whoops, 137, 26, let me get that stop. So there we go, double checking stop. I don't wanna take myself out falsely. But now, worst case, I'm making 26 bucks on my remaining shares, and that's where you wanna be as a trader. You wanna be in these positions where literally the only stress I have in the world is, how much money am I gonna make? I mean, how nice is that? Where literally my only concern is how much money Am I going to make? Let's see what's going on with the SPY. See, look at that. SPY came down just like I was hoping, and this is why Boeing is behaving oh so nicely. But come on, get back down. Don't bounce, Boeing. Uh oh, looks like I might get stopped out. Ah, out. So still made right there, 47 bucks. I know, I get it, Clay. In hindsight, and I, I should note, I agree with you. Why didn't you do your usual 500 shares? That would have been an awesome trade. You're absolutely right. But as I explained going into the trade, I was up $100. If I was wrong, it was going to cost me $100. Uh, but it didn't, uh, so that, that's why just 100 bucks, or excuse me, 100 shares, because that's what I was willing to risk. And you know, I explained that all going in. But I agree, I should have done 500 shares. But that's, you know, that's the thing with uh, real life trading. Good old hindsight. But the, the learning lesson there is, well, Clay, but that doesn't make sense. You risked $100, but yet you only made $50? If you're thinking that, that that's okay. Be honest with yourself, but that that, that would be a milestone marker that, that tells you that you, you have some understanding that you need to realize about the market. What do I mean by that? Well, keep in mind, I still had shares left. So had Boeing gone in my favor, then that could have gone to $75, then to $100, and then to $150, and then to theoretically, it could have gone to infinity, right? Because I still had shares left in the position. So yes, I get it, I got stopped out because this you know, dirty dog decided to bounce on me here. So I only got $50, but you have to keep in mind, and like I said, this is where, I mean, do you, if, you're, if I were to ask you, do you truly understand trade management? Well, you don't understand it if you're saying, well, Clay, I can't believe you just risked $100 to make $47. Then you, you know, to, to be blunt, but I say this because I want you to learn, you don't understand trade management because trade management was I still had shares left and had it gone in my favor, 
then yeah, that number there could have been who knows how big. It could have gotten well above $100, which at that point would have been more than what I was risking. Um, and I don't mean to repeat myself, but that's something I see all the time. People look at just the end gain and they say, so the end gain, that's, I mean, but that doesn't make make sense compared to what you're risking. Well, well yeah, but had the, or had the you know, price continue to go in my favor, then that could have been even bigger than what it actually was. Uh, pretty good stuff, huh? Isn't that interesting how those market winds shifted and came back down and then Boeing, just by going with the wind, turned out to be a very, very nice little trade there. And then you got the, like I said, the little bonus quiz, if you will, that little progress tracker of, you know, just under, you know, kind of measuring your understanding of how trade management works. But here on the screen, I'd encourage you to go and watch a, a, a secondary video here that if I do my job right, will really build upon what you just learned here. So there's the link in the description area. But this video, I talk about how to use the market win, so the SPY, to build watch list. And when you have those watch lists and when you identify certain dynamics, again, which I'll talk about in that free video, then you can complement that with what you just learned about in this video. And like I said, you're just gonna be putting that many more odds in your favor as a trader and that's what we wanna be doing. So thank you if you're still with me right now. I appreciate you watching this entire video. So final request on my part, if you are still here and if you enjoyed what you know the, the video, Easiest way to, and quickest way to communicate that to me, just hit that like button, that goes a long way and, and lets me know that I'm, I'm spending my time wisely by doing videos like this. So if you enjoyed it, if you would like me to make more, like I said, hit that like button. And ho hopefully you decided to subscribe. I would love to have you as a subscriber to the channel. Check out the rest of the channel if you want. There's lots of other videos like this. There's a lot of those live trade videos, so if you like that little slice of the video where it actually showed trades play out, like I said, I have an entire playlist that at this point in time, I think, I wanna say it's over 400 videos, give or take a little bit of live trade. So there's all sorts of stuff on the channel. So check it out and hopefully you decide to subscribe. And then also if you're interested in joining my community uh, where there's, there's the live chat room and I send out my weekly newsletter with personal scans, you can learn more about that at claytrader.com forward slash team. But hopefully this helps and yeah, get out there, pay attention to those market wins. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.